Well, two things, uh, speaking particularly to Christian leaders. Anybody who thinks that they have arrived there by virtue of their own capacity is not fit to lead. Anyone who thinks that is not fit to lead because the whole issue of a calling is so well worded by the Apostle Paul. He says to people, look, you can boast in whatever you want. I've got more credentials against my name than I'd want to even testify. He tells you of his tribe, he tells you of his lead, his studies and all of that. He says, I can't all this thing but, but refuse. All this thing is garbage that I may gain the excellency of the knowledge of Jesus Christ. So biblically and scripturally, forget it. Yeah, somebody once said to uh, uh, um, Winston Churchill, that he was a self-made man and Churchill said you have just relieved God of a very solemn responsibility. So biblically and scripturally if you think you're a self-made person just forget that and put that aside. The Bible reminds you again and again that you are where you are in a position of leadership because of the presence of God in your life and his calling. If you go through the New Testament you'll find the word leader hardly ever comes but the word servant comes hundreds of times. We are really called to serve. So the second thing I would say to you is, if you are a leader, make sure what you believe. Don't, be, don't get carried around by the wind of every new doctrine that comes around. Study the scriptures to know what the Bible tells you about life, about meaning, about sacredness, about your eternal destiny, about what God teaches us, about the, 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 the condition of human beings even at the end of life. All kinds of newfangled theories are coming up. Be careful that you don't get swallowed up by every wind of doctrine. So remain humble. If you didn't arrive where you are because of your own skill, remember that the Word of God tells you you are called there by His grace and by His mercy. Take the Word of God as the truth that you are to believe. And lastly, about that, let me say this. You know, even your voice, even your skeletal makeup, even your muscular build can go like that, just like that. I've met preachers who've lost their voice and cannot speak, their vocal cords are gone. I battle a lot of back issues, sometimes never sure whether my back is going to make it for another year or so, or for that matter another day. So everything is fragile and vulnerable. I am not here by virtue of my strength, I am here by virtue of God's call and God's strength. That alone ought to remind us of why we need to be humble, the very voice, the very ability to stand and speak, the very gift of language, the very calling is the gift of God. And if that's not enough to keep us humble, I don't know what will. God is able to bring you to a place of where He wants you. And the best way to get there is to be an imitator of Christ, not a manufacturer of some sense of celebrity in yourself. If you are humble, God will use you. If you are arrogant, he will know how to break you.